Hey everybody, welcome back to Richter Knives, episode number 37. Before we get started, let's go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the like, and also the bell so you can get that notification when we're going to be dropping videos. So you can catch all the cool videos we got going on. Tonight we are going to clean up this case. It's like a vintage case pen knife, I believe. So if, uh, I could be wrong, but I think it's going to be, this is just me. And y'all could tell me, you case guys that know you're dating and things like that, um, tell me what you think. I'm going to probably date this one somewhere between 1940 and 1969. I don't see any dots on it. Um, let's, let's look here at the pin blade. And this pin blade is, ugh. Let's see. Nothing on there. Nothing on that side. Whew. And then right here on the tank it says Case XX USA. And then it says 06244. And then it has some kind of stamp right below it. Almost looks like a 7. I think it's a seven. I don't know if y'all can make that out right there at the bottom. Uh, y'all tell me what this is. I think it's just a pen knife. Um, I don't really know exactly how old it is. It's pretty dirty. Um, one of my friends found this and he, he thinks it might be his dad's or, or even one of his. He found it in his gun safe. Didn't even know he really had it. Uh, and he asked me if I wanted to buy it. So. It looked pretty cool to me. So, let's check it out. So, first let's look at the back spring. There is a little bit of gappage. But the covers are fit very well. And I really want to say, this is Delrin, Jig Delrin. I could be wrong. It could be green bone, what they call green bone. Which, their green bone is not really green. It's kind of red. But I feel like this is Dillrin. I really do. And y'all can also put what you think about that. I don't know if that shield is pinned or not. It's a case. See right there? The pins are flush. You could see these pivot pins. Uh, this main blade right here. It's kind of mushy. I think it's sturdy. It looks like the blade is pretty well used. It's been used before. It's got this big swedge right across the top of that nail nick. You see the patina on there? Oh, dirtiness. I don't know if you call that patina. And let's look inside the blade wheel. Ugh! goodness gracious that one right there uh, a one to ten pull on that that's 11 goodness it's a nail breaker look inside there i don't know if you can see let me get my flashy light no oh goodness gracious that's a little too bright let me see if i can dim this thing sorry y'all i don't want nobody to have seizures or nothing it's hard to see but it's uh it's pretty dirty in there pretty ugh. Ugh. you know what i'm saying so we're going to clean it up make it serviceable and then in a later video we're going to sharpen it i think it'd be cool just to stick in your watch pocket what do y'all think so let's start very first thing uh i also got this case paste i was gonna try it out i've never tried case paste I'm, um so we're gonna see how that works yeah. uh i did open the the thing it's kind of messy i poked the boop you know so i wouldn't have to do it on camera so it's kind of messy but Let's clean it up. One, two, three, let's go. All right. 
first thing I'm going to do is clean inside the blade wheel right here. So what I'm going to do with that is, I've showed you all this stuff before, but it's kind of like a spongy sandpaper. Boop, boop. Uh, this is like a 400 grit. I've got an old one that's pretty thin. It's thinner and it could fit inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could double it up. Stick it inside this blade well and I can get both sides. I'm just going to kind of work my way in there. See? Work my way in there. Now it's sticking in there. Let's do this just for safety's sake and just for OSHA. You know what I mean? So OSHA don't find us. I want to go ahead and take these blades off. You know what I'm saying? Man, I know I'm making some of y'all nervous and whatnot. Don't be nervous, okay? I'm Mr. Safety. Okay? Don't be nervous. Plus, that thing is dull. But just for your... You know, I don't want you to get upset. So, whatever. I'm going to tape that up. All right. How you feel, Osha? You think that's good enough for right now? All right. Now I'm just going to go back and forth like this. And I'm going to just kind of scoot this thing back and forth through there. It's going to take a little bit of force. But you see already how the inside of there is starting to brighten up. You see that? If I can get down to the bottom, I can get that back spring. And sometimes you can use a little bit of a WT-20 or, I mean, if it's bone, I usually wouldn't use WT-20. But uh, some kind of lubricant. Let's see what it looks like. Looky there, it looks a whole lot better. There, I mean, there's still stuff down in there. Let's do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more. Let's get right here where it's kind of clean on this. See if I can get in there. You gotta make the crazy noises while you're uh, doing this to make sure it gets clean. You know what I'm saying? It's getting pretty clean. And I'm not going for full-on restoration, y'all. I hope y'all don't think that. We're just going to clean this thing up. Now I'm going to take this thing and kind of do this to the brass liners. See how it brightens them up pretty good? And I've got a polishing cloth over here. It's like an old polishing cloth. I just keep by the by the uh, shop table. It's dirty. It's got every kind of dirty metal on it in the whole world. I'm gonna take this old toothbrush here. It's not really an old toothbrush. I never used it. It was never in commission. It was uh, just made for the sole purpose. I bought it for the shop. I'm gonna see if I can get down to the bottom right there. I'm just pushing those bristles in there and just going for it. I think that should work and blow that out i got my eye okay well that's fair what do y'all think you can see inside there it's kind of cleanerish, but i think that's a uh, pocketable let's uh clean the uh blade now All right did you see that ninja move I just did? Whoa. So let's clean this. How I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna take this. And if you've never seen this, I've showed it like a hundred times, but some of y'all are new. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'll tell you what this is. This is sandpaper that I've glued to some kind of block. This is 800 grit right cheer, 1200 grit right cheer, and 3K. You see the shininess? Okay, so let's start over here at the 800. And what I've done is it's kind of squishy, like what I just used for the blade wheel. But I'm just going to take this and just put it flat on there. And I can actually use 
see the thing right there? I'm just gonna, you see the dirt coming off of it real time right there. Looky there. So I'm just gonna do this real lightly. You don't have to push hard. Let the sandpaper do its thing. Now I'm putting more weight. I'm kind of doing this number right here for right now just to get that tang. And then later on I'm going to go like so. So let's get the tang. If you do it too hard, you'll tear this stuff. So I'm trying to be easy-ish. And then I'll just take this right here and just come back with it. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because if I just take sandpaper and go, yeah, it's going to have lines in it. And if it does have lines in it, I want them all to be going the same direction. You know what I'm saying? It'll make it look nice and factory-ish. You know what I'm saying? This is really hard to do on video behind the camera. I've really never done this. And I'm still being a new YouTuber trying to figure out this behind the camera thing. Because I'm looking at the camera and not at my work. And it's strange. It's like I'm looking far off. Let's check our work. That's not bad. That's not bad. See the lines in it? That's not bad. Let's do a little bit more. I'll do the other side. And like I said, I'm not going for full mirror polish or nothing. I'm just trying to clean the blade off. Get the spotting off. Get the, you know, it's got a little bit of rust on it. A little uh, kind of pits or whatever we'll get that off and that one on the edge right there we'll get during sharpening we ain't worried about that see this one that's before let's go this way oh i gotta get that tank let's get the tank real quick let me do this a little closer so y'all can see what i'm doing And some of y'all may be going crazy with your OCD. I don't know. <clears throat> because there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. And this may not be your way. I don't know. So some people get uh, OCD about that. You're not doing it right. Okay. That's fine. I'm the one skinning the cat tonight. Take a look. Look, see, that's getting better. You got a little bit right here. That feels like... Uh, that's not too bad. Let's keep doing that. I'm just going to push a little harder so I know it's digging into that. That noise y'all hear is probably my air conditioner. It has some kind of mind of its own. And I feel like every video I do, there's some kind of crazy noise. Like this morning, it was the rooster. The rooster was cackling and whatever roosters do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today, it was the air conditioner making uh, spooky noises and whatnot. Okay, we could do this all night long. But I think that's going to be all right. I mean, I, I've got worse than that in in my <laughs> in the knives I carry every day. Okay, let's let's do this one first. I'm going to shut this one so OSHA don't get us find us for a violation. Next, same thing. We're doing the same thing here. Let's use this side so I'm not using all of my drop up on that side it's kind of this might help us try to read that for Pete's sake 06244 I did google it you know what I'm saying before we started doing this video and it said it was a pen knife but it didn't tell me what year it said I think 40 to 64 I don't know how accurate that is or and then another one said it was 65 to 69 which I don't know how accurate that is. So the Googles is, you know, contradicting itself. 
But I know folks that are case fillers. They could tell me right off the bat what this is. I just didn't ask. I should have done some research, but I've been busy today doing leather work. And uh, I want to make sure those folks get their stuff. It's uh, got some orders in. So... That that kick looks good. Look at that. And you see the lines going straight up and down. Can you see that? It's going to make it look a whole lot better. I don't think I'm even going to go to the... Oh, look what I did. I'm at the 1200. Who knew? Oh, well. Could have been using the 800. I'm at the 1200. Y'all could have told me. I mean, y'all are sitting right there watching. Goodness. So this morning, I've done a video on a strop that I loaded. And in the title, I put master class. <laughs> oh, Lord. It was a joke, y'all. I don't know if everybody took that as a joke. They might have thought, my God, there's a guy right here it is crazy. I'm just, I play. Y'all know what I'm saying? I play. Y'all don't take me serious all the time. Only take me serious when I'm being serious. That looks really good. Wow. It doesn't look old enough to be my parents but it is I don't think my thing is level something's happening let's get the top of that switch right there come on Work with me. And y'all don't worry. This thing ain't going nowhere. I'm just barely moving this. Uh, OSHA's starting to worry about me right here, about this thing closing on me. But if you know how to use a slip joint, nothing to worry about. Some folks are scared to death of a slip joint. There's nothing to be scared of. If you know how to use it, just be careful. It'll be all right. I think this looks really good, y'all. Okay, let's check it out. Now, there's a little bit of pitting right there. I'm not going to get that out during this right here. That looks really good. It's kind of a satin. And I didn't want to go for a mirror anyway. I don't think it really came with a mirror. It'd be kind of goofy to give it a mirror finish, right? So, also, the bolsters... Oh my goodness gracious. That is. Let's uh. I'm going to have to oil this thing. Because I mean look. It's. You got to push it down. To close it. It's not snappy either. It's just got gunk in there man. I really honestly need to like. Clean that out. Flush that pivot out. And blow it out with air. <clears throat> But back to what we were doing. Let's shut this. It's shut. Now let's get the bolsters and the back spring. I'm going to use the 3000 for this. And I'm just going to see if I can get that brass to pop. You see my, my thing getting, taking metal off right here, right? And... Let's take it off and look at it. Hold on one second. Let me get down here. It's kind of doing this number. See the curve? So I got to push down in those areas so I know I'm getting all of it. And I'm hitting the camera. Look at there. Not bad. Let's wipe that off and see if it can look better than that. I may not even have to use this case paste. But I will on the bolsters just to see what it does because I'm curious. Fancy. 
Okay, let's do this. Let's go this way, this way. Now, what I really want to do is get right here on top and on the sides, right? Because I've already got the back spring, so I'm just kind of doing this number. Oh, yeah, looky there. Let's do the other side. Fancy. Okay. All right, let's do the bolster now. I found the easiest way to do this is just put my finger right there and run it down so I'm not getting the delrin or the bone or whatever that is. I'm going to show you the difference between a clean one and a dirty one. Check this out. And then check that out. Well, let's do that. This one? See? That one? And this one. Mm. Let's try a little bit more. And y'all have seen this before, maybe. One of my early videos uh, shows you how to clean a knife. But I don't know if I'm really teaching as much as I am hanging out with you while I'm doing it. That looks good. Let's do the other side. Get some of them scratches out of the bolsters from that pocket change and keys and everything else hidden. There's no telling where this knife has been and what kind of stories it could tell. That's what I like about these old knives right here. Uh, I like going to flea markets and finding old knives like this. Old timers, case, uh, cut co. Um, you know, old camp knives and just restoring them. Not really, you know, restore, restore, but clean them up to where they'll go in your pocket and you can use them and have fun with them. Not bad, not bad. I think that case paste will actually help it pop. So we're fixing to use it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to start waiting around. Okay. Case paste. Na -na -na. I think that's how that song goes. Hmm. Let's just use a tiny tad bit. Oh my, that's a lot. All right. Let's just rub it on there. And don't be judgy, judgy McJudge pants. I'm just trying to clean this whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? I've never used this stuff. And maybe I should have let it sit. I don't know. Let's, let's do the other side and we'll let the other side sit. That's plenty, I'm sure. You know, maybe a guy could have uh, watched another video on this to see if I'm doing this correctly. Let's do the back spring too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so how's everything going? How's your mom and them? You know what I'm saying? Everybody good? Let's just do the buff thing. Yeah. Whoa! That's fancy, Case. This stuff works. Looky. I don't think the crazy... Uh, hold on. I don't think the lighting in, in my shop uh, is showing how good this stuff works. Sorry. Wow, that is nice. 
Okay. Let's do the other side. We're almost done, y'all. I think. Let me just use my hands. Oh, yeah, that works better. You see the black? It's turning black. Oh, yeah. I think that's how you do it. Mm. And then we'll do this. Yeah. Ah. Uh, See, we don't need a buffer or some kind of, all you need is a little bit of case paste and your thumb. Where to go? Look at that. I feel like that is working. Oh yeah. Okay, let me, let me use the inside of this thing. A clean part ish. I wonder if it'll take care of that. Uh, let's do that shield a little bit. I hope that don't mess with the Del Run. Let's see. Ooh. Nah, I think the Del Run's fine. Actually, if this is Del Run and not bone, most of the time when you oil it, it'll come to life and it'll... It won't be so brittle and dry looking. So, let's take a look at the whole thing. Oh, good night. Okay, let's open this up. Let's put a drop of oil in this. First, I'm going to put the lid on this so it don't ooze out. And I don't lose the lid. I'm bad about stuff like that. I'm glad I got y'all here to keep an eye on it for me. I'm even going to put it back in the box. I'm saying let's put it in the box move this and I'm going to put some oil in the pivot <laughs> put an oil in the pivot put it on both sides you ain't got to use a whole gallon oh man this stuff is coming on out of there so I put some right there you see on both sides and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rag and I'm gonna double it up I'm gonna put it around my blade like so see what I'm saying so that way it don't cut me when I go like this and you could do this for 35 45 72 minutes or just 30 seconds it doesn't matter I already feel like it's a uh, working and you could tell that gunk's coming out right there that's good that's good right now because all that gunk's coming out and it'll help it move oh see it snapped that time oh and you heard that it wasn't snapping a while ago let's see Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just like the day it came from the factory. Look what we've done. It's alive. Thank God. Okay, that's perfect. Now, this one. Hmm. I might have to put some oil on that before I even open it. Because I'm telling you, I ain't going to have a nail lift. Oops. Sorry, y'all see me getting that oil everywhere. Because it's coming on out of there. It's shooting. It never does that. I must have squeezed it at some point. And this oil, I don't remember what it's called. But I know it lasts. I've had this for about two years. And I've used that much. I'll think of it in future videos. I'll tell you where I got that. I'm trying to remember. I know it was a gift from somebody. I don't want to say the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, okay. Got it open. Let's wrap the rag around it. Try not to get the uh, the frayed area in it. Good night. That thing is like a bear trap. I ain't kidding. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 
I could tell that it's, the kick is hitting the tip of this blade when I close it. Hmm. Okay. Noted. Put a little bit more oil. I'm not... I mean, you can oil too much, I guess. Or, or This just needs oil. That's plenty. That's plenty. Put this back on. Let's do it one more time. Now, here's what we want to do. I want to take this right here and clean the top of that where I put all. See? Blowing it. Now, let's see how the action is. Okay? Oh! Man, did you hear the snap on that? It's still, oh, it's still hard to open. Good night. That's a levity for sure. But I'll tell you what, that booger ain't going to close on you. Good lordy. That is, that's tough. I, I can't wait to sharpen this thing. I think it'll be cool in the pocket. Now, let's just do this number. Okay. gonna put the little wipe on it you know what I'm saying and we'll finish this off here and see how this whole thing looks see if it's good enough to EDC now look at there oh, hold on. look at that not bad not bad I mean it's not perfect but look how this thing is old and it looks like better than some of my brand new knives right now well not brand new but let's get some of that oil off there let me clean that oil off that drives me insane I'm a little O C and D that looks way better you know what I'm saying? All right. So, listen, listen. It shuts on its own now. Ha ha! Ha ha! And this one, I want to break it. Ding ding. Boom nail! Ow! Clean that oil off of that. It'll still be leaking a little bit of oil for a couple of days right here and right here. And it'll have it on the tang on both sides probably. But she's ready for work. Look at that. Old vintage case knife. So, tell me what you think about this knife. If you have any cleaning uh, tricks some restoring tips that I may have missed, shoot them down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. And if you know what year this knife is, you know what I'm saying? Or a model or anything like that, I'd love to know. i love to talk about it. Very cool knife. I like it. It's a little bitty. See? Little bitty. And I've got probably medium hands. Um... Uh, Let's see, do I have any? Oh, let me compare the size to, I guess I got my Sawbuster on me. Woo! Boy, these Sawbusters are getting popular. Sawbuster Junior, they are getting popular. And I've been uh, telling folks to go get them because I think this is probably the best um, EDC knife that Case makes is the Bone Sawbuster Junior. You know, not the Delrin ones. I'm. I really. You know. I don't care for those. Honestly. The, uh, the yellow ones and the black ones, the juniors. But uh, the bone ones are thin. 
and they look really good look at that anyways we got off subject here's the uh, comparison so you can tell this is a pretty small knife and uh, it's a good looking knife you know what I'm saying So like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Tell all your buddies about Richter Knives. Hit me up on my Instagram, Richter underscore knives. And um, if you want a leather slip, I've been making leather slips. Hit me up on those. If you've seen those, they look kind of like this. I've got all different kinds. Also, check out my shorts on YouTube and on Instagram. And my post and hi to everybody all the fam all right good night I'm gonna post this one this is the little case vintage pin knife all cleaned up and Richter out